Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This is an HP EliteBook 840G3. That information can be found inside the BIOS or tattooed right on the bottom of the laptop. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can increase the performance on this one by replacing the mechanical drive or your old M.2 SATA drive to an NVMe storage and the capacity that you can have in here. And just remember by replacing the addition and by replacing the main storage in here you have to reinstall Windows freshly from the USB. I made a link how to create your Windows 11 or your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I made another link for how to create Windows 11 without any restriction with the TPM or requirements for Windows 11 that nonsense that Microsoft put. Check that link in the video description once you want to create your properly your Windows 11 USB. Drive and it's very simple to install Windows. Check that out in my video link. And in this video, we're going to cover up just removal and upgrading. All right, first thing first, back up your files, flip it upside down, and down here, we're going to grab the tools. I'll be using a iFix screwdriver set. I like this one, I purchased it for myself, just a basic tool set. You can get the pro set. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they'll include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick for opening tool. All right, and we're gonna use a little needle. With a needle, we're gonna remove this plastic rubbers right over the screws, not the rubber legs of the laptop, just the, over the screws. These things usually fall off. If you lost yours, fine, there's not no big deal. You just uh, cover up the screws. All right, well, you can even trash them if you don't want them. All right, once you remove all the, all the covers for the screws, the one in the middle too, if you have an SD card in here, remove it, so there's any screw right in here. We're gonna remove this screw, So this screw is a little skinnier and longer than the rest, keep it in different pile. And now the rest of the screw, including the one in the middle, they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments today. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, oh, I missed one right over here. Now you want to put the opening tool in the corner in here, and you want to put it and just peel it up, just like that. You want to hear some click sound. Put your thumb in here, your finger in here, and just bring it up to evenly on both sides, and the bottom cover will come out. All right, and down here we can see right away there is an M.2 SATA because there's a two notch on them in here. Usually you can install a, a SSD in here too or mechanical drive. Mechanical drive can be installed in here because there's a SATA and the power connector. You have to focus, make sure it is connected in the same place. It just slides inside the connector like that and it stays in there if you move it. Because this one has a little caddy uh, bracelet to hold it, screw it down in here. But I don't see that bracelet in here, that caddy screw. Otherwise, there should be a four screw with a caddy. But they, I don't have it in here. I will try to leave the link in the video description. So you can put a, up to two terabyte mechanical drive in here, additional, additional. Or you can grab an SSD uh, storage, which I don't have one on hand in here to show you guys. Oh, I do. SSDs are the same. For the SSD, you don't need any caddy. We can put a double-sided foam tape in here and just plug it in here and slam it in there. It, they are SSDs, they don't need to be hooked up to anything. But mechanical drive, they do require the caddy to hold it in place steady. Now, regarding the M.2, there's one screen here. Before we go here, people are like, oh, can't you disconnect the battery? I don't recommend you disconnecting the battery if you Think you're gonna drop the screw bit or the screwdriver over the motherboard, sure, go ahead. By doing that, remove one, unscrew one screw. The screws will not come out entirely. You just have to loosen it up and then grab this flip thing and bring it up. So that's how you disconnect it. Push it down and put the screws. It's safe to work on motherboard for upgrading without removing the battery. To remove this M.2, you wanna remove one screw at the back, tiny screw and the M.2 will come out in 45 degree angle. Right, and then what you wanna do, you wanna grab it and slide it backward in 45 degree angle. And there's a two notch on them because these are the uh, M.2 SATA, it's not an NVMe, 
is a little slower. This and SATA is the same speed as that. This one over here. But if you can grab a NVMe up to two terabyte if you want to, but I have a one terabyte in here for to show you for demonstration. You can put an NVMe up to two terabyte with no problem. People are like, oh no, it doesn't take manual. It says this and that. Doesn't matter what they say. It works and it works perfectly fine. It has only one notch. It's an NVMe, and this is an M.2 SATA. So grab your NVMe, make sure you bring it down in 35, 45 degree angle inside the connector all the way in, and then push it towards the motherboard, and hold it, make sure the screw hole is matching, and put the tiny screw right over. Once you have that one in there, all you wanna do, if you have added additional storage, you can add an additional one at the same time, and put the windows in here, that's fine, and then put the bottom cover right on top, and what you wanna do, First, put the screw right on the SSD because that's the only one that is different. And after that, put the rest of the screws on the bottom cover. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna power on, I'm gonna put my Windows USB drive in there and we're gonna get to the installation of the Windows so you guys can see it does show up, it does detect, because I get so many comments that go, oh, why don't you show that it actually detects it, and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna put all the screw to make this video longer so i'm just going to go quickly put the charger in let me find it i think this is the wrong one this one right over here and we are going to power on and we are going to i'm not going to cut any scene from here so you guys don't say oh you cut the scene and you just plugged in the uh, what's called the USB, so let's plug in the USB, and I'm gonna power it on, and I'm gonna press F9, so I can boot through my USB drive, and it says boot up to, it actually detects it right in here, you see? My Kingston that I put, the one terabyte NVMe, it detects it right away here, but I'm gonna go down to my, a USB, which is, I don't even see my USB. If it doesn't boot from here, I'm gonna try different slots. So if it doesn't detect in here, Control Alt Delete F9, and maybe it will detect it on the other side. Nope, it didn't detect on this side. So I'm gonna power on. Press F9, it does not detect in there. Press F10, so let's go to the BIOS. All right, so we boot it up to the USB. We're gonna go to my Windows 11 installation. And return to previous minutes. So I'm gonna grab my English one so you guys can see. Normal, unattended. So it's gonna boot up to the Windows. So let's see. And it's gonna show me the storage in there. So let's wait a few seconds. Language English, next, US, next. Getting a few things ready. Is way searching for the disk, and this is where it's going to detect the hard drive, disk one, one terabyte storage, and click next, and it will install the Windows. And that's it for today's video. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out to upgrade your storage for your uh, HP EliteBook G3 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.